हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर जंक्शन आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट डेटा एनालिटिक्स डिजाइन डिजाइन डेटा आर्किटेक्चर एंड मैनेज द डेटा फॉर एनालिसिस बिफोर मूविंग फॉरवर्ड इफ यू वांट रिटर्न नोट्स पीडीएफ्स ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट देन कॉन्टैक्ट मी एट मेल विच इज गिवन इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एंड ऑल्सो सो मेनी पीपल आर वॉचिंग द वीडियोज बट नॉट डूइंग सब्सक्राइब I am putting more efforts to make videos on this subject. So do like, share to your friends and subscribe. Let's get started. So in this video, design data architecture and manage the data for analysis. So DDA, DDA is nothing but design data architecture. So it is a set of substan uh, standards which are composed for certain policies, rules, mod models and standards which manages what type of data is collected from where it's collected utilizing and securing the data into the systems and data warehouse for further analysis so in previous video we discussed about data management in that we have some key components are there right so where we need to collect the data from which uh, from which source we are collecting the data and uh, the data could be uh, either structured or unstructured or sort in the data secure manner or not these all we discussed yes, uh, in previous video right so in design data architecture the standards which are composed of certain polities this is for some uh, policies rules models and standards which manages what type of data is collected which type of data is collected so these are the key components right so the data architecture is formed by dividing into three essential models and then are combined so it have three different types of models what are those we will discuss conceptual model logical model physical model okay these are the three different types of models which are present in the design data architecture so we will discuss what is the architecture so we have one diagram we will discuss okay so data architecture design okay it have conceptual model logical model and physical model right so here data is in the form of data warehouse or database so data warehouse is nothing but it is it is also a storage right so data data uh, warehouse is also act as a data storage only okay database and it is useful for the data analytics okay it is store the data for analytics purpose okay it have three types conceptual model logical model physical model after doing this process data architecture design the data models of architecture the data managed by data architect for analysis in previous video we discussed about some uh, it jobs are present uh, related to the data uh, data management right so in that we discussed about data architect so it is it is nothing but the role is nothing but the data is going to manage it right so that is nothing but the data architecture so what is conceptual model what is logical model what is physical model we will discuss okay first conceptual model this is a high level business model that utilizes the entry entity relationship so here what is entity entity is nothing but object in data uh, in database management system dbsm sorry dbms we have er diagrams are there so for example one object there like one man or let us take one example as customer so what are the uh, related related uh, entities are there or related attributes for the entity customer name customer id customer uh, order details and all right so those all are nothing but the the attributes and the entity is customer so that the relation between those is nothing but entity relation er model okay we are this uh, we are representing in the form of diagrammatic format in this is nothing but the entity relationship okay deposit uh, debit the relationship between entities and their attributes it serves as a blueprint that outline major entities and their connections but does not delve into details of data structure what is mean by delve delve is nothing but a research okay research it will take a lot of time and it will research and it does not 
research into detail of data structure just it is a blueprint okay that conceptual model is nothing but a blueprint in blueprint what we have the properties whatever the properties are present related to the entity okay whatever the details are present those all are the properties for that particular entity okay this model helps take uh, stakeholders understand the overall structure of data and its in interactions okay whatever the interactions are there for stakeholders to understand the overall structure of data so whatever the data is present that all iterations interactions will be understandable by the stakeholders okay next logical model so we discussed about conceptual model so we will discuss uh, what is logical model so the model represent problems and data organization at a more detailed level than conceptual level so it is a depth it is detailed level okay than conceptual model conceptual model is nothing but it is a uh, just blueprint right so the logical model is nothing but it is going to explain a detailed way okay it is show how a data is organized often using tables classes xml by using classes tables xml xml is nothing but extendable markup language okay by using these all the data is going to organize it such a way that it is going to use for detailed way okay this is the blueprint for developers so here that is different this is different there is uh, it serves as a in conceptual model the the blueprint that majority entities okay that is nothing but the conceptual model but here we are doing for blueprint for developers okay that is the difference okay next physical model what is physical model the implementation specific view detailed storage indexes and all hardware so physical model is nothing but physical connection physical infrastructure and all there right so that is nothing but the physical model this model for database administration administrator traders okay whatever what are the administrators and what the role is present for uh, database administrators they will just do manipulate the or we can say modify the database if you if any new will uh, if any new data will be added to the database or if we if data is going to create or if you if the new data is going to create if old data is going to erase delete it these all that nothing but the database administration operations okay this model for database administration next data management for analysis this so in this topic only we do, we have data management for analysis right so it is what is it it is a process of data extraction secure storage efficient transfer usable processing security and all at minimizing cost these all process this all operations at minimizing cost only okay it is core goal is effect is uh, its core core goal is effective handle of individual and organizational data so in effective way the handling of data is in effective way for individual or organization organization is nothing but group of uh, data okay group of people data okay next ensuring easy and secure access creation updation deletion okay we know that these all are the operations for database next key responsibilities maintain data accessibility and integrity okay uh, the key responsibilities for the data management in analysis purpose maintain data accessibility and integrity so what is this all will be will discuss okay next handling big data requires advanced technologies like aws scala for analyzing and insight extraction so for handling big data analytics big data analytics means the data is going to the data huge is in huge format okay that is the data set is in huge format so that that uh, need that big data analytic need advanced technologies like aws amazon web services next scala is one of the uh, technology for analyzing the insert extraction okay this is all about the data architecture design so next video we will discuss various sources of data like sensors signals gps etc data management okay if you uh, 
if you like the video then please do like share to your friends and subscribe don't forget to subscribe thank you